He is known for his contributions to the field of physics and his research on X-ray radiation. He is recognized for his scientific work at the Physics Institute with Emil Warburg, which led to his doctoral thesis. His name is Robert Wichard Pohl. In the annals of scientific history, one name shines brightly, Julius Robert Oppenheimer, an American theoretical physicist whose impact on the world is immeasurable. Born to German-Jewish immigrants in New York City, Oppenheimer's brilliance soon became evident. With a bachelor's degree in chemistry from Harvard and a PhD in physics from the University of Göttingen in Germany, his journey into the realm of theoretical physics began. Oppenheimer's genius found expression in groundbreaking achievements like the Born-Oppenheimer approximation for molecular wave functions, and the Oppenheimer-Phillips process in nuclear fusion. His work on quantum mechanics and nuclear physics revolutionized the scientific landscape, as did his prediction of quantum tunneling. However, another brilliant mind was also taking shape across the Atlantic. Robert Wichert Pohl, born in Hamburg, Germany, was destined to make his own mark on the scientific world. The son of naval engineer Eugen Robert Pohl and Martha Pohl, he came from a family with a rich legacy of educational pioneers. His grandmother, Wichert Lang, founded the private, Dior, Wichert Lang School, while his grandfather, Wilhelm Middendorf, was one of the founders of the first German kindergarten. After completing his education at the renowned Gelatenschule Johanniums, Pohl embarked on his studies of natural science at the University of Heidelberg. It was there that he formed a lifelong friendship with James Frank, another brilliant physicist. Pohl's passion for physics led him to transfer to the University of Berlin, where he focused his studies on this fascinating field. He began his scientific work at the Physics Institute, collaborating with Emil Warburg on the topic that would become his doctoral thesis. During this time, Pohl's dedication to scientific inquiry led him to publish his first paper, inspired by his work at the Hamburg State Physical Laboratory, where he delved into the observation of X-ray radiation diffraction. In the summer of 1906, Robert completed his doctorate and started working as an instructor in the physics teaching labs in Berlin. He collaborated with James Frank on research about ionic mobility in gases and the speed of X-rays. They published joint articles on these topics. From 1909, Robert focused his research on the photoelectric effect in metals. He worked alongside Peter Pringsheim and tackled the important issue of creating metal mirrors. In 1910, he wrote a monograph on the remote transmission of images, which garnered attention in the scientific community. Two years later, he completed his habilitation, which included a discussion on von Lau's discovery of X-ray diffraction. After his habilitation, Robert began giving lecture courses on experimental physics. He also started collecting lecture demonstration apparatus and performed demonstration experiments at meetings of the physical society. By the start of World War I, he had already published 54 scientific articles and three books. When the war broke out, Robert tried to volunteer for military service but was rejected due to health reasons. However, his proposal to operate diagnostic X-ray equipment in military hospitals was accepted. He worked closely with military radio operators to locate enemy transmission stations. As a result, he was appointed as a chief engineer and held the rank of captain on the board of transport examiners until the end of the war. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.